Now to introduce our honoree tonight, his predecessor, Twins Hall of Famer, Tom Kelly. I lose my place, you come rescue me. <laughs> That's hard to follow, but we'll do the best we can. I first met Ron Gardenhier in Fort Myers, excuse me, Orlando, Florida. Ron was an infielder competing for the utility man spot. Unfortunately, he broke his finger. Is that correct? You break your finger? But he wanted to play in the worst way. I just couldn't, you couldn't do it. You couldn't get out there. But I thought it was going to come to fisticuffs at times. But uh, Ron persevered through a broken finger, and it showed me that he was a gamer, wanted to play, and wanted to play baseball for the Minnesota Twins. That didn't work out, but he ended up at AAA. And uh, after that season, he went on to coach or manage in the minor leagues for three years, followed by 11 years with the Minnesota Twins as a coach. And then, what was it, 14? 14 years as manager? That's a lot of years. I believe it comes out to the New Jersey math of 28 years. His resume speaks for itself. Six championships, manager of the year, 1,000 wins, the admiration of Twins fans, and a number of players that are all here today to honor, honor Ron and his family. It speaks volumes for his character as a baseball man, and more as a, a better person. We are so fortunate today to have Ron Gardenhier inducted into the class of 2022. And I'm proud to be standing here to be asked to introduce Ron. And I hope you appreciate him like I do and what he's done for the organization. So on behalf of myself and all the Twins Hall of Famers, please welcome Ron Gardenhier to the class of 2022. got paper, uh, read a few things, but uh, I think I'll start out by just looking right here on the field and uh, seeing all these guys come back uh, uh, to witness this, this fiasco that I call a manager. Um, I had great players, great coaches, and played for a great organization here and managed one, and for the best fans in baseball, sitting right up here. Doesn't get any better. And then you sit and you look at this group right here who have done so much for me, have been a big part of my life, my, my wife's life, uh, taking care of me. Jim Rance gave me an opportunity to coach and manage and was there for me. And, and it, was, it was a start. And uh, I learned a lot of baseball from a lot of different people. Being under Tom Kelly as a coach, uh, I tell you what, if you want to go play for the best manager in a game, in my opinion, it was Tom Kelly. He knew more baseball than I've ever been around. 
A lot of my players, you know, sit right over here. Eddie Guardado scares me, but it's still here. Uh, <laughs> Tory Hunter ran everything down, played the game like a madman. Biggest smile on his face, and one of the best players I've been around. Michael Kadire, stud, nicest person in the world, and he could actually hit, and I mean really hit. And then we got Joe Nathan. Uh, you hand him the ball as a closer. You sit in the dugout. You grab a beer because you know the game's over. You got Justin Morneau. Even though he's from Canada, I still love him. And he was some kind of player. So I enjoyed these guys. Uh, TK was the best. Jim Rance, the whole package. And on this side over here, this group of guys, some of them got me fired. Some of them right over here. And I still love them to death. They made me better. They gave me an opportunity to coach and manage and let them play the game. And uh, I think I became a cheerleader more than any else, anything else because we had a, a great bunch of players. I mean a great bunch of players. And then you get bound to my coaching staff, Joe Vavra, uh, Scotty Olger, Steve Little, Uncle Andy, Uncle Andy. Uh, these, guys, these guys were there for me at all times. They were out in that clubhouse uh, controlling things on the field, working their tails off while I sat in the office talking to the press. That wasn't that fun. But I appreciate them. Uh, there's so many over here guys I could talk to. Some of the things that I saw on the airplane scared me. Nick Punto, belt whipping people. But we got through it. We did get through it. <laughs> so um, I'm very proud to be here. I'm going to thank my family over here. Uh, and the Polad family starts first. The opportunity they gave me to come here and uh, gave me a job and gave me a chance, and that was very uh, a big deal, Jim. And then I'm going to go to my wife, Carol, my son, Toby, uh, little Sarah over there, and Bodie, my brand new little grandbaby. It doesn't get any better than that. Um, you got uh, Tiffany, my middle daughter, and uh, she's got three grandbabies here. We got uh, uh, little Amber and River and little Ronnie Jr., who will be a stud baseball player, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, and then I've got Tara, my youngest daughter, and she has her dog, Luna. She has Jasper, her cat, and Ollie, her cat. And I couldn't be more proud of her. Uh, getting into the group here, Jim Rance, as I said before, gave me an opportunity uh, to start, start my managing job. And I ended up in Kenosha, Wisconsin. It was my first year. Bob Lee uh, was the owner and general manager. And for me to start out, not really knowing a whole heck of a lot about managing or anything like that. This guy took care of us. He took care of my players, a lot of guys that played there, and he was a very special person to me. And Bob, are you over there? Where are you at? Stand up. This is Bob Lee. He's a true baseball man. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate it. You got uh, Terry Ryan, obviously. His general manager gave us an opportunity, gave all my coaches an opportunity uh, to uh, work in this organization and let us go and, and, and have a ball. Billy Smith, same way, uh, gave me an opportunity to work for us. Andy McPhail started the whole thing, uh, giving me an opportunity to play. Uh, of course, TK, as I said, the best manager I've ever been around in my life, taught me everything I know and always had my back, uh, along with that coaching staff I was on, uh, Dick Such, uh, Twig, Crow, and Tony Oliva. It didn't get any better. And it was a great learning experience for me, and they taught me the game. Uh, of course, my coaches, Rick Anderson, uh, Steli, Joe Vavra, Scotty, and Steve Little. I'm telling you, those guys were a mess. 
But they were really good baseball guys, and I love them to death. Did I already say that once? My bad. Uh, you got some people I want to make sure I uh, talk about here. It was big fellow Wayne Hathaway. He was an equipment manager, a clubhouse guy in the organization. We lost him. Uh, but he made his impression on a lot of people here. He was, he was a good man, a lot of fun, a cackling voice. But he did a lot of really good things for this organization, and I miss him dearly. Um, Hot Rod and the clubhouse staff, uh, Major, the trainers, uh, Prume and Tony Leo, Rick Cobain, Jimmy Common, those guys saved us. They were there for us every day when somebody had an ouch uh, and uh, took care of those guys. So, you know, I tip my hat to them. I love them to death. Mike Herman, Sean Harlan, Dustin Morris, and Julie, you guys are there to save us. Uh, you were always there for us, always got us in the right place. So, uh, as I said, you got uh, uh, Terry Steinbeck, uh, Jerry White. He, Jerry didn't show up. He's currently buying Mopar parts, and he couldn't get here today for his car. Uh, you got... Uh, there's so many people to thank. It's really hard. Uh, all the and for my wife, all of our the people that work here in these stands, uh, security, ushers. Um, let me tell you what. My wife absolutely adores the people who have done all these things for the fans, the wives. Uh, they they adore you and thank you for really taking care of them. That means a lot, um, and that's very important. Believe me, that's very important. Uh, and then we get to the, fl the flying chicks. That was when we, flown, we flew for Delta. And uh, we had our stewies that were there for us at all the time. We actually invited them. I think they're here. Can you stand up? Stand up, please. Let me tell you what. These guys right over here, and some of these guys right in here, will tell you that they get it done. They took care of us. And thank you very much for being here. We got our doctors, uh, Dr. VJ, Dr. Buss, Dr. Steves, Dr. Amy. Believe me, I managed, I didn't play. I think I use them more than any player or coach anywhere. I got more treatment from those guys because of these players over here killing me. And I'm telling you, we need those doctors. Some of my friends over here, always Bird, Walleye, Spike, I learned all that here in Minnesota. We didn't have that in Oklahoma. Uh, and then John and Robin, a guy that I owned a restaurant with, and then he sold out from underneath me. And now I have to buy my own deals. That ain't good. And then a shout out to the Blackwoods Blizzard Tour. You know what? Uh, we've raised a lot of money, millions of millions of dollars. Terry Steinbeck got me involved in it. Kent Herbeck got me involved in it. And we raised a ton of money to help a lot of people. So uh, at the end of this, I want to say thank you again to the fans. I love you. My family loves you. You've taken care of us. And to all these guys sitting right over here, I wished I could name you all. Just can't happen right now. But I promise you, when I get off this microphone and we go inside, I will buy you a cocktail. <laughs> Cheers, Twins fans. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now, if you direct your attention to the video board, earlier today we unveiled Ron's Hall of Fame pennant, which will be on permanent display on Target Plaza with all the Twins Hall of Famers. We also continue the tradition of presenting our inductee with a beautiful original artwork piece created by renowned Minnesota artist Terrence Fogarty. Unveiling Ron's print will be Michael Kadire and Justin Morneau, two of the top three in games played for Gardy. this special day, we invite Gardy's grandkids, seven-year-old Ronnie and four-year-old Ember, to the mound to throw today's ceremonial pitches to their now Twins Hall of Fame grandpa.
the Twins Hall of Fame. Now let's get ready for baseball between the Twins and the Rangers.